Lolly Ho Adventures. Since Shadowbringers came out, I've been noticing this thing. I've been watching a lot of content and a lot of streams, and it's this thing that players do with their UI, where they have like an entire third of their screen that's just dedicated to things like class switching, their duty list. It's just a mess, and it takes up so much space, and it's a wonder that they can even tell what is going on in that side of their screen. So I'm here to tell you, and you know who you are, that there is a way to clean this up through what I call cascading windows, and it's quite simple to do, and I'm going to walk you through it, and it should change the way you experience this game. Now this is done via a couple of very simple macros. If you've never used macros before, they're actually very useful, very helpful, and not that difficult. So this particular one I call my clean fishing UI because I originally designed it because I wanted to have something to make fishing more immersive. I wanted something so that no matter where I was or what I was doing, I would have a way to just turn off all the UI clutter and enjoy the scenery or the sights of wherever I was. And in for the case of fishing, uh, I wanted something a little bit a step further than that. I wanted to be able to hide my hotbars when I did things like cast my line and then re-enable my hotbars when I reeled something in so I could see if like the fish I reeled in was a moochable fish, which is where you uh, take the fish that you reeled in and use it as bait to catch a bigger fish. Uh, and I've found that this UI, uh, that this macro that I made for this has been far more useful than just for fishing and I use it every day uh, for just navigating my menus on a daily basis and it has changed how I play. Alright, so here we are in game and we're going to start talking about what we need to do to get these macros going. So first things first, we want to open up our system menu and we want to find the character configuration and in the character configuration we're going to find on the left side the hotbar settings and so if you didn't already know you can actually enable more hotbars than are what are originally available to you by just uh, clicking any of these boxes here and more importantly we want to find the sharing tab and the sharing tab is really important for this because uh, what happens when you designate a hotbar as a shared hotbar is that it will persist no matter what job you switch to. And that's really important for this because uh, the primary use of this UI that I have set up is that no matter which class I switch to, so if I switch from Scholar to Summoner here, this UI is, like, stays the same no matter what. But my skills change, which is what I want to happen when I switch classes, because clearly I need summoner skills now as opposed to scholar skills. So, once we have this figured out, you, you want to decide what hotbars you want to do this with. So, uh, if you want to find out hotbar names, you can simply go to the HUD layout and it will show you the names of all your hotbars, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 3. So find, I want you to find two hotbars that you would like to have one hotbar open up another hotbar. In the user macros, if you've never used a macro before, that's okay. These are actually very simple. We're just going to find any slot here. You can designate any slot you like. And we're going to make a new macro. Uh, for the sake of this video, what I think I'll do is I will recreate my DPS one here, where when I click it, it shows my DPS classes. So for now, I'm going to pull off all the DPS classes. and we're going to start work on it. So for this macro, I want it to be a display DPS. So for any macro you make, you have a large selection of icons to pick from, which is really cool. Uh, for this, DPS seems like a sword is a good icon for it. 
if you were making like a display your potions and your food, you would maybe pick one of these two. For or gathering and crafting classes, you might pick one of these icons. But let's just go with a sword for now. And so we can name the macro. Now let's pull this off our bar too, not to confuse anybody. And so we're going to give it a name. And I'm just going to say display DPS. And then you could say like display DPS classes. You can name it whatever you like. Uh, the only thing the name changes is that if you take this macro now that you've made and you drag it down to your bar, when you hover it over it, it will actually show the name that you put there. So like this says display crafters, this shows display DPS, this shows show tanks and healers. All right. So for the next part of this, uh, it's important to understand the HUD layout screen because the HUD layout has a bunch of HUD elements. And so any of these HUD elements, you can turn off and on by default by just simply right clicking. So like your mini map, your duty list, you can turn off and on. Um, so for this hotbar that we're going to have show up, we want to start off, start off, off, and then turn on. Uh, to make this a little bit clearer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to character config, and I'm going to make it where the hotbars will show. We're going to show the numbers of the hotbars, and we're going to show the unassigned tabs, which I highly suggest um, not showing the extra boxes once we finish with this. So this hotbar 8 is the hotbar that we want to display our DPS classes in. All right. So by default, we want that off. So to indicate something is off, it will be in blue. If it's on, it'll be in white. So we want that off by default. That way, when we click our display DPS macro, it will show that hotbar. So we're doing that with hotbar 8. So hotbar 9 is going to open up hotbar 8. So let's open back up our user macros, find our display DPS macro. And what we're going to do for this is very simple. We just say slash HUD, and then in parentheses, we're going to designate the HUD element we're working with. So we just said that we are going to open up hotbar 8 with hotbar 9. So we're going to say HUD in parentheses, hotbar 8. Um, make sure you type it exactly as it's displayed on the HUD layout screen. So it might be case sensitive, but it's slash HUD, hotbar 8. Uh, in fact, it is case sensitive because we actually need a lowercase HUD here. So now when we click, but it's as simple as that. As soon as we click our display DPS tab, it now shows hotbar 8. You can see it popped up and we can put, we can populate hotbar 8 with whatever we like now and we don't have to have this menu open anymore even. So we want our DPS classes to be in hotbar 8. So here we go. We're going to go and find our DPS classes. Uh, we won't do, I guess we can do all of them. I How I have this set up is I like to go in order. So I would just follow, first I would find my pugilist. And I'll probably speed this part up, but if I don't, we're just going to go through and find everything. Pugilist, Dragoon, Ninja, Samurai, uh, Bard, Machinist, Dancer. Dancer is very fun, by the way, if you haven't tried it yet, new DPS class. Black mage, summoner red mage, blue mage. So this is pretty cool that you can drag these. It, most UI elements, like you can actually drag any of your like character stuff. You can actually grab and drag 
onto hot bars, should you desire to do so. Uh, summoner. Uh, blue mage. And like for the blue mage, what I like to do is that you have a blue mage spellbook. So we have one extra slot here. Uh, we're going to put the blue mage spellbook right there. Okay. So when I click my display DPS, it turns off. When I click it again, and there they're back. So let's say I switch to my summoner now. Since it is a shared hotbar, I can do this on every single class. It still works. So I can freely switch between summoner, uh, I have the same same outfit on these two characters, so it, it's a little confusing there, but now I'm a red mage. And there we go. So very, very simple. And so you can do this again with anything you see on this HUD layout screen. So you've seen me turn off and on like my duty list. So if you wanted to do that, you would simply go to your user macros. And like this is my duty list one. I made it an exclamation mark like a quest. And I simply did the same thing. I said HUD and then in parentheses duty list. Uh, I put off and on here so to remind myself that it's a toggle. Uh, but it's completely unnecessary to have the off on, just HUD duty list. And so when I click my duty list, I toggle it on and off. And that's really all there is to it. If you want to do multiple things at the same time, like my clean fishing UI here, what I have happens for this one is that when I click the button, it just turns off most elements on the screen, which is really nice. And just make sure you have a way of turning it back on if you do that. Uh, if you somehow accidentally disable the hotbar that has your macro on it, you can always do the HUD layout and right click to re-enable it. And that's really all there is to this.